Sometimes you see a player and you think you know everything about him and yet it's such great fun watching him bat. Throughout this tour of South Africa, I've experienced that with Virat Kohli and I saw two different sides in two one-day innings that he played. Now one in Johannesburg and one in Cape Town. Johannesburg, just a 75. When you look at Virat Kohli's one-day international career, it's a glittering array of innings. You'll say, what is there about that 75? But here's something interesting we picked up about that. Most of Kohli's innings, like the one in Cape Town, are hard-running innings, not, not a lot of boundaries in there. And so South Africa at times had six fielders inside the circle, but especially they cut off his single down to third man. There was third man, there was point, there was man just in front of cover. We saw a different side to Kohli. Suddenly, while he's in his 30s, he's down the wicket, he's hitting the ball in the air. That straight six that he hit is a six that you can see, I promise you, no, it's a six that you can see 50 times and still marvel at it in much the manner that you did the old Tendulkar shots. Simply because everything was so straight. It was, it was geometric perfection. Straight line, straight over the bowler's head. It was wonderful to watch. But why was he playing like that? He also came down the wicket, right leg up in the air and it's flicked wide of mid-on. I think he was trying to show South Africa that there is another side to his one-day cricket. If you think this is how Virat Kohli plays his one-day cricket, here's a template that's starting to form. He takes so many balls for his 50, so many for his 100. That's the way he goes on and plays. No, I've got another side to you. Set a field for me, I'll do something else to you. And hence the manner in which he got out. He played a lot of shots, did Virat Kohli, but he played different kind of shots. Now, just two or three days before that, in Cape Town, he made 160 from 159 balls and he showed us another completely different side to him. 100 of those runs he ran and don't forget he probably ran 60-70 for his partners as well. Hard running style, tiring, hands are cramping but never giving up. And that's a story for everybody around that once you get to your 100, it's not a sign that you have achieved something but that an innings only ends at the 50 over mark. And I just, I, I just enjoyed that style. I worry a little bit about that hard running style of Virat Kohli because the intensity and the energy just oozes out of every single ball that he plays. You know, purely for, the, for, a, uh, for a minute comparison, he reminds me a little bit of Rafael Nadal playing tennis where every point has to be given everything that you have. So I worry a little bit and I hope India start to take care of Virat Kohli's fitness because this level of intensity, I know he trains hard, I know he eats well, this kind of intensity is, is very difficult for a human being to sustain. But two different kinds of innings there and just casually slip past 100 number 34. He now has 55 hundreds across all formats and he's closing in on the greats like Callis and Ponting. So this, this, is, this is a wonderful patch. If you're doing nothing these days, just sit by and watch the many different facets of Virat Kohli that you see, especially post-2016, is it? I mean, his numbers post-2016 and One Day Internationals are just staggering. He's played 40 games, he's got 1,100. It's not that even he's not scoring the hundreds, he's just dawdling around. He's got 1,250s as well, but he's got an average of 89, a strike rate touching 99. And you can see now that he's, sc he's scoring a runner ball 100. Ajay Jadeja made a very interesting point in commentary. He said, look at 2012-2013 when he was chasing, he was getting hundreds in 60 balls, 62 balls, once in 52 balls. Now he's getting hundreds from 100 balls. And you can see that because as a player matures, as a responsibility on him grows, as the need to as expect runs from him grows, it starts to cut down on risks, aware that his wicket is the one that the opposition wants and he can't give it away. And so you'll find that Kohli is now striking at well about 100 that's not bad is it but the consistency is incredible and that is something that I hope the other players around in the Rohits and the Dhawans and the Rahani start to imbibe that when you are in good form you just milk that good form so two innings from Virat Kohli and both watchable in their own way